Hi everyone, good morning. Welcome to Kalagat YouTube channel. So today we are continuing our series uh, on 2023 prediction. So we start uh, with moon sign Cancerians. So Dr. Sir, uh, what are the predictions for Cancerian signs uh, for the year 2023? Om Gam Maha Ganadi Pataye Namaha. Om Sri Matre Namaha. Om Sri Guru Bhion Namaha. Welcome to Kalagati channel. So today's topic is a uh, cancer uh, sign horoscope in 2023. So cancer uh, signs lot of loyalty, kindness, and a healing nature, love, care, nurture, motherly service. That is the uh, uh, represents of uh, cancer. And from uh, zodiac sign, from natural zodiac sign, it is the fourth house, so which uh, gives uh, happiness and prosperity also. Moon, it is ruled by moon, the planet uh, which is uh, of uh, feelings, emotions, love, romance, and uh, healing abilities, hospital sector, Mental peace, a peace of mind. So, in 2023, horoscope for uh, Cancerians, Jupiter is in a ninth house, ninth lord in ninth house. The lord of destiny for uh, Cancerian in 2023 is Jupiter. It brings them a lot of happiness and prosperity in their life in 2023. Really very uh, good results they are going to get. And uh, they will get uh, good guidelines and directions from their gurus. And financially, they are, uh, they are well developed. And they follow traditions customs, rights, really a peace of mind in this uh, uh, year 2023 uh, for uh, cancer. Jupiter <laughs> is uh, placed in Pisces sign up to 22nd April 2023. Rahu is already placed in Aries and uh, it uh, transits to uh, Pisces uh, from November 1st. Jupiter transits from 23 April 23, 2023 to uh, Aries and around uh, uh, final year. Also, it is uh, placed in Aries. Uh, Saturn transits to Aquarius from January 18, 2023. So now onwards, uh, it is uh, placed in uh, uh, Capricorn. And Ketu, Rahu Ketu, the same uh, transits on the same date. Uh, Ketu transits to Virgo uh, from November. So around the year, it is also placed in Virgo. So this is the placement of all uh, planets in 2023. And uh, really, they are the luckiest people for a uh, Cancerian because uh, Jupiter is uh, placed in ninth house. So for a uh, business, uh, uh, Rahu is uh, placed in 10th. So it is a blur, it is a confused area so that they don't go for new business avoid a lot of investments for the new business. So the people who are running business, so they will take guidance from the well-experienced persons. So they, they meet experts in business who are in. So it is better for them financially, they will grow. So a lot of wealth will be accumulated in 2023. 
for a cancer people because of jupiter and rahu so up to 20 april 22 so it is a better achievements for a, a capricorn uh, for a cancer and it aspects on uh, uh, fifth aspects on cancer also that's why uh, physically and mentally they will be very strong so they will get a peace of mind in this year 2023 and a prosperous life for, for uh, cancerian people new ideas new imaginations on business but uh, don't uh, put a lot of investment for it new investments so up to up to april and after uh, april jupiter transits to aries and a good guidelines are given to you uh, for new business also for new investments also for new ventures so it is a totally confused area up to april so that's why don't believe others don't allow the strangers in your life it is a better for you so 10th house is a not only for it but also good name and fame so and after april you have a good name and fame a bright future you have and the support from your father so your father is ready to invest something to you and from your seniors given good advices to you elders also around you so that uh, this year 2023 is a better life you may lead so you can you can utilize this uh, opportunity in 2023 cancer in people from 23 april jupiter transits to aries a uh, conjunction with the rahu so it is uh, called uh, guru chandala yoga happens uh from 23 april to august uh, it means uh, jupiter uh, uh, placed in ashwini star lot and after uh, it uh, transits to uh, bharani ashwini to bharani so then it will be favorable to them when it is is uh, placed on ashwini yes uh, you will be uh, you will you will you will be very careful Uh, which is a uh, totally confused area it is and uh, don't take uh, decisions yourself so what you run you can carefully uh, run it so and after uh, it uh, placed on bharani as yes, it will be uh, better you can set right your life properly you can set right you can run your business uh, properly so for a professional so for a job holders uh, first half is better and the second half means a number from number it is better for the job holders and uh, you can face uh, many more hurdles uh, in guru chandala yoga so you may loss and uh, uh, for for particularly students so they are in a confused uh, state a person who is uh, studying well before so in this moment uh, they could not uh, study well and they have a lot of imagination they 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 can divert from the good studies so their parents should look after them well take care of them take care of their health also and after uh, october as yes, uh, it will be better for they can follow good path they can select the right uh, track so that's why for financially for health and wealth so it is a, a better year for cancer and people and saturn uh, which is a uh, transits to aquarius uh, from january 18th 
2023. Yes. Eighth house is a hidden place, secrets, diseases, sudden gain, sudden loss, whatever it may happen. Jails, punishments, and pay fine to the government, court cases, illegal affairs. So such a place is uh, occupied by Saturn in eighth house. So it is a testing area. It is the testing area. So Saturn is going to test you in 2023. So 24 years, uh, two and a half years, uh, uh, it will be placed in Aquarius. But particularly 2023, you'll be very careful about your health. Longevity given you, a long longevity uh, given you by Saturn because it is a Karaka of Aish and a Karma Karaka also. So you can do good deeds when Saturn is uh, placed in uh, eighth house. So sometimes uh, emotionally, emotionally you are disturbed. You are, with your relationship, with your uh, life partner, with your business partner, you will be very careful while you are talking, while you are doing. So you take a lot of responsibility on your speech on your deeds when Saturn is uh, placed in eighth house. So something fear in your mind. Don't go for debts. So debts will be increased a lot. Healthy. A female. So uh, somewhat uh, uh, healthy issues will be there. So they will they will, they will be very careful about uh, health. And uh, marital life was somewhat a uh, very sad moment for cancer and people. So in Guru Chandala Yoga, when it happens from April to uh, October, yes, much more taken, much more uh, extra effort. More advices, more passions should be taken at that moment. So other, otherwise, uh, emotionally you may lose, and you can find you can pay a lot of uh, fine for uh, for the government. Yeah. Also, sometimes yeah. punishments are given to you by the government. So legally, you can follow it, rules and regulations. So that is uh, more important here. So for uh, Ketu, which is uh, placed, uh, placed on fourth uh, house from cancer, so Ketu refers uh, spiritual mind away from marital life, away from materialistic desire. So that is the key. So when it is placed in fourth house, the fourth house gives you bliss and happiness. So somewhat away from it. And you must take care of your mother. And you, you can't stay at your home, always in journey. You are uh, uh, looking after business, your uh, job away, uh, away from your house. So that's why you neglect uh, about your house, about your uh, mother, mother's uh, health. So need to focus on your uh, house. Need to focus on your mother's health particularly. So then only uh, you will you will get uh, bliss and happiness in your life. So when it transits to Virgo, as yes, it is the third house. So before 
you can believe yourself now you can't believe your strength uh, yourself when it transits to third house so here you can get guidance from from your elders from your experts so then you can clarify it is a blurred blurred area it is it can't be uh, visioned clearly uh, by you so that's why you can take a responsibility you can take guidelines from your experts so then only it will be seen by you so you can put extra efforts where ketu is there so many and many times you can do many failures <laughs> many failures will be there but you can do again and again and only because it is a upachaya sthana so that uh, if you do it again and again so for uh, five times six times seven times yes uh, blurred uh, will be opened and uh, it will be clear so then only you can see it oh thank you thank you guruji thank you sir federal sir thank you very much uh, thank you sudhakar sir uh, ravi sir uh, 2020 20 predictions for cancer in people yeah <clears throat> up to april for cancer people jupiter was transiting in pisces it's a natural uh, for them for cancer people it is the ninth house from the ninth house jupiter aspect on uh, cancer on, that means uh, on moon and uh, is the uh, aspecting the first house and fifth house also up to april they always they get <clears throat> right direction right path they follow uh, the elders will come and uh, will guide you towards your goal they give you right knowledge so from the april when jupiter is transiting into aries so in aries already rahu is there so jupiter was conjuncting with rahu jupiter was conjuncting with rahu up to april these people will follow the spirituality guidance of elders all those things from the april the jupiter was transiting in 10th house <laughs> and their administration management career in these things people will come and misguide you people will come and misguide you as uh, jupiter was conjuncting with uh, rahu in ashwini nakshatra ashwini nakshatra means speed agility okay so running without thinking so going fast taking speed decisions so in your career you may take a speedy decisions without thinking people will come and pressurize you and force you this may lead to go in a wrong direction so this will happen as a saturn transiting now it is transiting in 7th house from january next year 2023 so he is transiting in aquarius 7th house up to january saturn in 7th house there may be frustration delays hard work in your business with your spouse contracts relationships these are all will suffer because of saturn hard work challenging situations so you are you will strive very hard in those areas but uh, people who follow right path dharma nyaya uh, principles rules and regulations those people will get awarded but in their relationships in their business 
from january he is transiting into aquarius aquarius is the eighth house so eighth house saturn is very good actually so he will stop he will delay all the sudden events and he he, he will focus whatever the sudden transformations and changes in your life he always will delay those things but the health concern eighth house is also related to health if you are taking proper food in proper time he will not disturb you if you are not taking and not eating proper food and not maintaining your time table not taking your food in a correct time sir those people will face the harshness of saturn saturn likes saturn is a duty minded person so he always want to he always think to all people need to obey the rules and regulations if you are going in a wrong way your health may suffer okay so eighth house 2023 so your health aspect you want to follow rules and regulations else you want to face the harsh harshness of set as a ketu ketu is transiting in fourth house fourth house is your, with your mother your properties real estate vehicles and your happiness fourth house is happiness sukhasthana so as ketu is transiting you may get virakti vairagya detachment from your house so there will be no love in your life as ketu transiting when whenever you do selfless service to others so you want to participate in ngos you want to participate and help others in whatever the way then only you will get happiness as ketu from november 2023 he will transit into virgo november last okay only one month only november december that's it so in those times the ketu was transiting in your third house you may face virakti vairagya detachment with your siblings with your skills talents interests with your parakram sthana so your parakrama may be suffer because of a ketu transit all you want to do selfless service whenever you do selfless service the result will come from the raw so struggle hard in ketu area so ketu transiting in your fourth house in your home environment with your mother and properties real estate vehicles you, you must take care not only you want to serve your mother all the motherly figures you want to serve and uh, you want to bring peace in every home happiness in every home not only your home so then the results automatically will come in the 10th house in your career you may you may see uh, high peaks you may get good opportunities so uh, this will happen as a as the sun said guru chandal yoga is happening so please take care don't trust anyone whenever the people who are very trusted to you give guidance then please verify and think and test before you go into action so don't take sudden decision as ashwini nakshatra will force you to take a sudden decision without thinking okay? this may get into trouble so if you follow this advises you will sail 2023 very smoothly thank you uh yan sir good morning you will add anything uh, for cancerian people okay yeah one second ah uh, okay yeah sudhakar sir and ravi sir already mentioned many things about cancer uh, cancer rashi for the movement of these major four planets but anyway this uh, this transit brings lot of changes for these people so till now they are going la- so many stress in the work 
so many financial setbacks whatever they are faced all these years so once saturn goes into uh, this next sign Cap- uh, aquarius and jupiter goes into aries it will be very uh, relief period for them they will get money back whatever the holding till now so this transit definitely is a very good for them so overall only thing is the jupiter transiting and meeting rahu in 10th house after april that will be uh, only need to concern in their life they need to be very careful regarding morals regarding uh, work area regarding kids regarding what are all jupiterian things so in the 10th house it also deal with your fame name society so whenever rahu jupiter meets they always gives the idea and force the person to think out of the box they always look for an alternative way shortcut ways sometimes it works when in better manner sometimes it will use backfire so that's why you should be very careful regarding in the professional field in the moral thing then they can get on the same rahu ketu they will be there for till end of the october around uh, next year so there will not be much, much change in regarding rahu ketu things so the same thing will continue only thing is the jupiter is adding there so jupiter things because cancer sign jupiter is a ninth lord and sixth lord you are hard working your devotion towards elders religious things whatever they, those things will be now undertaken by rahu that twin air is very most powerful sign so again that mars will decide whenever mars changes houses those things will be affected on the person anyway is a this transit brings a lot of changes and in a, some you can say 50% in good man so these are the uh, some small tips for my side thank you thank you sir uh, ravi sir uh, what are the major remedies cancer people should follow in next year 2023 and they are experiencing uh, ashtama shani also yes sir they, um, they for uh, health purpose uh, they want to do shivaradhan shivaradhan mrutyanjaya mantra for good health and guru chandala yoga is happening on 10th floor if any person was suffering in their career in their name and fame so in administration and management they people want to uh, go to uh, guru temple like dattatreya sai baba those kind of in there if you have you can donate for a guru or aspati these remedies will enough uh, if they are suffering they need to follow this that's it okay thank you sir uh, that's it for uh, cancerian munshan people 2023 predictions all the best for the year 2023 uh, welcome back to kalagati youtube channel uh, today we are discussing predictions for leo sir one minute sir one minute one minute. 